see that but they all have contributed and been part of the program through the time and how do you say that this one has more of an impact than another? because the dynamics there are so different every year is a different year no two years are the same and when these kids were freshmen the dynamics was different and it actually was the toughest coaching job that I've ever had when these kids were freshmen you know, the dynamics change. This group, you know, uh, it, the boys as freshmen, they were hellions. <laughs> and it was like, are these kids going to either give me gray hair or kill me, or, or am I going to make it through?
and but what we're attempting to do and it's not always appreciated but we're, we're raising children we're teaching them life lessons and, and this is part of it the, the work ethic to come down to commit to something as a group have your individual goals your team goals i think that's so important in any act of life that they're I, I truly believe that or i would not be doing what i'm doing i, I think it's important what we do and i'm not a woman so, and that's why you know michael teeters and kelly and tiffin they're there and bill as well because they see the same thing it's not a process it's not like we're trying at all costs to win things and we're trying to do this and that and the other thing. No, we're teaching kids to grow up. And we're giving them, putting them in places to learn things about themselves. And hopefully, you know, down the road when they're in a marriage or, you know, they're in a you know, work environment situation, that lessons they've learned here and competing will assist them and help them then. It's, it's, it's corny, but that's what I believe. And, uh, yeah, it's for some reason, unfortunately, the state championship for the boys and, and uh, some individual championships had, wasn't meant to be. And at times it will be meant to be. And the medals and the awards over time, they get dusty and they get in a box someplace and go away. But you always have those friendships. You'll always have those experiences that you shared with someone else. And those are so special. And I mean, that's what gets you through in hard times. to want everything and nothing at the same time I want what's yours and I want what's mine I want you but I'm not giving Pleasing to me and rewarding to me is that at like the region meet, so many of the older kids were there early on, brought the younger kids around. Right and then the younger kids stayed around and watched the older kids. Right so there's something there. And that's not, you know, hey, you have to be there. We have a lot of athletes that I think are really proud that they're a cross country athlete. And I think they're very proud to be a, be a Walton cross country athlete because there's just a lot of good, positive things that go through. Each group brings their talents, and you know the they've been special because they've set a lot of different goals for themselves. And it's a very unique group. Yes, they are moving on, but they know they can accomplish things. All of them have grown up. They've matured, they've put themselves in situations where they're making very good decisions for themselves, they're going to go on to college and be successful, and I'm hoping part of it is that in this program they, they, they learn lessons of, say, sacrifice, determination, hard work, and when I get in a tough situation in college, uh, you know, later on in life, I'll be able to handle it, and I think they learn that from this program. They can handle most anything. And they, they'll get through things, and, and I know, leaving, I'm confident that they're going to be successful. And the reason I know kids are successful is so, so many comes back. You know, I've got kids now that are doctors and, and things, they're doing all kinds of things out there. And, you know, I hope that I had a little smidgen of helping contribute to that. Spend precious moments with the ones that I hold dear. Make up for lost time here in my next 30 years.